you flip a coin, there are two possible outcomes, heads and tails. Each outcome has a fixed probability, the same from trial to trial. In the case of coins, heads and tails each have the same probability of one half. More generally, there are situations in which the coin is biased, meaning that heads and tails have different probabilities. In the present section, we consider probability distributions for which there are just two possible outcomes. These distributions are called binomial distributions. The four possible outcomes that could occur if you flipped a coin twice are shown here. Note that the four outcomes are equally likely. Each has a probability of one-fourth. To see this, note that the tosses of the coin are independent, that is, neither affects the other. Hence, the probability of a head on flip one and a head on flip two is the product of probability of getting a head on flip one and probability of getting a head on flip two. This is one half times one half, or one fourth. The same calculation applies to the probability of a head on flip one and a tail on flip two. Again, the probability is one half times one half, which equals one fourth. The four possible outcomes can be classified in terms of the number of heads that come up. The number could be two, outcome one, one, outcomes two and three, or zero, outcome four. The probabilities of these possibilities are shown in the lower table and the figure. Since one head appears in two of the outcomes, the probability of this event is equal to one-fourth plus one-fourth, which equals one-half. The table summarizes the situation. The figure is a discrete probability distribution. It shows the probability for each of the values on the x-axis. Defining a head as a success, it shows the probability of zero, one, and two successes for two trials, or flips, for an event that has a probability of 0 0.5 of being a success on each trial. This makes the figure an example of a binomial distribution. The binomial distribution consists of the probabilities of each of the possible numbers of successes on n trials for independent events that each have a probability pi of occurring. For the coin flip example, n equals 2 and pi equals 0 0.5. The formula for the binomial distribution is shown here. p of x is the probability of x successes out of n trials, n is the number of trials, and pi is the probability of success on a given trial. Applying this to the coin flip example, we get the following probabilities for 0, 1, and 2 heads. If you flip a coin twice, what is the probability of getting one or more heads? Since the probability of getting exactly one head is 0 0.50, and the probability of getting exactly two heads is 0 0.25, the probability of getting one or more heads is 0 0.50 plus 0 0.25, which equals 0 0.75. Now suppose that the coin is biased, so that the probability of heads is only 0 0.4. What is the probability of getting heads at least once in two tosses? Substituting into our general formula, you should obtain the answer 0 0.64. We toss a coin 12 times. What is the probability that we get from 0 to 3 heads? The answer is found by computing the probability of exactly 0 heads, exactly 1 head, exactly 2 heads, and exactly 3 heads. The probability of getting from 0 to 3 heads is then the sum of these probabilities. The probabilities are 0 0.0002, 0 0.0029, 0 0.0161, and 0 0.0537. The sum of the probabilities is 0 0.073. The calculation of cumulative binomial probabilities can be quite tedious. Therefore, we have provided a binomial calculator to make it easy to calculate these probabilities. Consider a coin tossing experiment in which you tossed a coin 12 times and recorded the number of heads. If you perform this experiment over and over again, what would the mean number of heads be? On average, you would expect half the coin tosses to come up heads. Therefore, the mean number of heads would be 6. 
In general, the mean of a binomial distribution with parameters n, the number of trials, and pi, the probability of success for each trial, is mu equals n times pi. Mu is the mean of the binomial distribution. The variance of the binomial distribution is sigma squared equals n times pi times 1 minus pi. Sigma squared is the variance of the binomial distribution. Let's return to the coin tossing experiment. The coin was tossed 12 times, so n equals 12. A coin has a probability of 0.5 of coming up heads. Therefore, pi equals 0.5. The mean and variance can therefore be computed as follows. Mu equals n times pi, which equals 12 times 0.5, which equals 6. Sigma squared equals n times pi times 1 minus pi, which equals 12 times 0.5 times 1.0 minus 0.5, which equals 3.0. Naturally, the standard deviation is the square root of the variance.